Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors. Today we're taking a look at the Mattel DC Universe Classics Cyclotron. Now, I have a ton of DC Universe Classics, but they're all loose and on this channel I try to do everything in package so you can see what it looks like in the package and out. So this is one of the few that I do have still in the package. So let's break into the review. Now this is based on the Superpowers figure. This, he was first, I think he was actually created for the Superpowers line back in the mid 80s. And to celebrate the Superpowers, as you can see, DC Comics 75 years of Superpower, which is not really celebrating the Superpowers line, but is celebrating DC Comics, uh, they decided to release this Cyclotron figure, which is really cool because I loved Cyclotron as a kid, so this just made it even cooler. Now here is the box, typical DC Universe Classics Fair. Of course, this one comes with a collector's button, yay! Here is the bottom of the box for the UPC information and all that kind of good stuff for you. And of course, here is the back of the box giving you a biography. This is what I love about the DC Universe Classics is they give you that biography and the statistics. Really cool, really cool little extras that go above and beyond for, for this line, which is one of the best uh, DC Comics action figure lines ever. And you can see all the rest of the figures that went in this wave. But unfortunately, this wave was used to build Trigon, but this particular figure did not come with a Collect and Connect piece. With that out of the way, let's break him open. Wait, is it going to be blasphemy to break open a DC Universe Classics figure in a box? Ah, who cares? We're going to do it anyway. Okay, so now we have the figure out of the box. Since he didn't come with a Collect and Connect piece, I guess he comes with this cool superpowers base. Now, I can't argue with the fact that this is really, really cool, I'm, or the fact that I didn't get a Trigon piece. So, because just the Superpowers logo on this blue base, awesome, 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 awesome. So you can't really complain, but there is the stand. He also comes with this pin. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it has like the Trinity on top and then uh, the whole Justice League of America around the bottom. So that looks like some maybe, uh, late 70s, early 80s artwork. I can't really tell who that is, kind of small. But uh, pretty cool artwork, pretty cool artwork. Can't, can't complain about a button either. Now let's deep dive into the figure right quick. Here is Cyclotron. Just like his superpowers predecessor, you can take his faceplate off. Uh, somehow I think this does come off if I snap it off to reveal some robot stuff going on there. Now with the original figure, I thought his faceplate came off too, but it looks like there, I don't know, can you see that? His head is like super loose, but it looks like there might be some metal face under there, but I'm really scared to, to really Dig it, it, nope, it's it's working. Ah, and his face fell off, but there he is. Urgh. So now you got a timeout so I can grab his face off the floor. All right, time back in. Now, this is what he looks like without his face and his chest piece. Now, with the Superpowers line, it was all one piece that kind of just, you know, looked like this when you took it off. But because this is DC Universe Classics and they have lots of articulation, way more than just the uh, seven pieces that you found on the Superpowers line, they had to divide it up a little bit. And here, I'll give you a good look at the the, the robot face. But let's put that back on because he looks better to me with his face and with his chest plate here. But this, just like any other DC Universe Classics figure, he does come with a crap ton of articulation. So yes, his head can go all the way around. He has the movement here. What do you call that? Uh, waist crunch, yep, ab crunch, whatever. Uh, he can move a little bit. He, he's kind of tight around the the uh, arms there. You know, the shoulders do rotate all the way around as well as bicep swivel. He has elbow bends there, but not double. His wrists do turn all the way around as well. So all in all, pretty decent figure. Uh, really can't complain about that. His head is really, really loose though. I don't know if you can see, but like really loose. I just hit that mug and it moves around, which is not cool. Uh, he bends, turns all the way around at the waist. 
he can do the Van Dam really good. Um, he does bend there, knees, and of course, ankle. So all the classic Mattel articulation that, that you can't really ask much else for. I know a lot of people like the McFarlane stuff, but I still dig this articulation much better than the McFarlane. And don't get me wrong, the McFarlane figures are far superior to these, but I do love the articulation on this because it's just enough, not too much. Alrighty, so there he is. Let's stick him on his stand here. Uh, where's his foot peg? There it is. Uh, get in there. Ah, there you go. Superpowers all the way. There you go, Cyclotron from Wave uh, 14, I think. Wave 13, 14, can't remember exactly, but you get the gist. He comes with the same wave with Blue Beetle, Negative Man, uh, Superboy, Cheetah, and Wonder Girl. All right, there it is. So if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Also, check out DCCollectors.com each and every day for the latest DC Comics toy and action figure news around the internet. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at DC Collectors. Peace.